My name is Phil Noble, and I'm running for chairman of the South Carolina Democratic Party. This election for the chairman of the South Carolina Democratic Party is a fight for the future of the Democratic Party. That's what it's about. It's bigger than me, bigger than Dick. It's about a basic decision that you've got to make about what we're going to do as a party. We've got two choices. On the one hand, we can keep doing what we've been doing. We can let the same Columbia insiders who have been running this party keep running. We can let the people who have driven this party into the ditch keep running this party. We can keep doing the same things over and over and over again, and we'll keep losing. That's one choice. We got another choice. We can change. We can do things differently. We can reinvent this party from the grassroots up. We can start by listening to what people in the districts, in the counties, in the precincts want. Not what a bunch of self-appointed leaders in Columbia think we need, but what do we need in the counties? What do we need on the grassroots to win? And we as the state party, our job is to give it to them. Not tell them what to do, not ram it down their throat, not send somebody in there from Connecticut and tell them he's in charge. It's about growing this party from the grassroots. And this is not some pie in the sky, maybe we can figure out how to do this by and by. There's a model. It's called Barack Obama in the presidential primary. That's the model. That's the model of how we do it. I, I was very lucky. I, I, I signed on with the Obama campaign basically back in early 2006. I tell people I drank a double dose of the undiluted batch of the Obama Kool-Aid. <laughs> I did, and I'm proud of it. And when he got off the plane in South Carolina for the first time, I was standing at the bottom of the steps saying, Welcome to South Carolina. It was great. I love it. But what that campaign was about was a different way of organizing and a different way of running campaigns. We didn't go after the big endorsements. We didn't look for the names. We didn't pay street money. We didn't go out there and cut a deal in the back rooms. We went out and we organized. And everybody said, you got no chance. Nobody's going to work that way. Nobody's going to come out and vote unless you pay them. And they were wrong. And we won. And we won not just a little, but we won big. And we won bigger than anybody had ever predicted we'd run. And that's what we've got to do now. It's the Democratic Party of South Carolina. That's our choice. That's what we've got to do. I started about six months ago, right after the election. I started going around the counties and talking to people. I said, what do we need to do? I spent six months out there, talked to thousands of Democrats, all 46 counties, and they told me three things. Number one, we're sick and tired of being sick and tired of losing. Number two, Columbia's a problem. It's that same old group of people who've been trying to run this party that are the problem. And the third thing they said is on the local level, we know how to win. We can change. We on the local level, we have a majority of Democratic County Councils. How many of y'all knew that? We just flipped Lawrence County the other day. Most people in South Carolina live in a city live under a Democratic mayor. Because we're Democrats on the local level know how to win, they know how to deliver, they know what this party needs. And if we don't make that choice, if we don't change, if we don't adopt a different way of doing things, we're going to lose again. And we're going to lose again. And we're going to lose again. It's real simple, folks. It's real simple. You want to keep doing what we've been doing. You want to keep the same people in charge. You want people who, who view this party as their private club, that they get together and decide among themselves who's going to be in charge. Or do we want to do it differently? Do, do you want to be in charge? Do you want to make the decisions? Do you want to choose who's our leader? Do you want to decide how we run our campaigns? That's the choice. And it's your choice. Because on election day, on Saturday, we're going to vote by secret ballots. We're not going to have any of this stand up and get intimidated BS that we've had before. 
We're going to vote by paper ballots. You're right, it's in a paper ballot. But it's going to eliminate a lot of that intimidation that we've had before. And it's going to be a different result. This time, it's going to be different. Thank you.